Well, that lamb I was telling you all about um, had high hopes that her and the mom had worked things out, but I saw this afternoon the mom still wouldn't feed her and was butting her, and I thought that's it. I've got to take her away from her mom, try to uh, see if I can take care of him. So I put this pen here in my little man cave room and uh, it's cooler and it don't, I think the only fluids it got since it was born yesterday afternoon is what I've given it. And uh, it's just run around all day uh, chasing its mom and I believe it's just, just wore down and tired. And it wouldn't suck on the bottle anymore so I got Violet, and me and Violet, we uh, took a syringe and forced fluids down it. Uh, so we'll see how, what says tomorrow, but I just took the garbage off, and lo and behold, there's another baby born out there. If y'all would, say a little prayer for him. Uh, hopefully he'll get his strength back and he'll go to sucking on his own. I don't have to force, force him for fluids. All right, let's take a walk out here and I'll show you the newborn. Uh, I guess it's time. Some new babies. We'll just walk out here and Oh, I put a Ringo on a runner. I think the blue angels flying over there. And I'm thinking I can't take a little baby sheep in the house and Ringo too. Not tonight. So I just put that runner down and I'm amazed he ain't pitching a fit. I wonder how many more of them are gonna have babies. You know, that one there has got a little bag coming on. Maybe we're going to have some more babies. She just had this baby. I don't want to... How does ease up sometimes? They get real protective of, they don't want to get in close up. Baby just, just a few minutes ago, he was down. This is his first time up on his feet. And he's already gone straight to the tit. And that's a good sign. See that one we got in the house, that's where it all, it just didn't go good. Maybe I'll see if I can ease up a little bit closer. Trying to get on that tip. All right, he's, he, well, he. 
He was on it there a minute. She's still cleaning him up. Yeah, he got on the tip then. All right, this one's gonna be good, I'm sure. It's already on the tip. But y'all pray for the one in the house. Um, looks like I'm just gonna have to force fluids in him. I'll just keep him in the house. I got them towels down. And I know as I come out a while ago, these two young males are duking it out. Oh, ooh, that hurt. They've been fighting for about the last 30 minutes. What is it, Ringo? Ringo is not going to be a happy camper. We've been letting him come in the house uh, ever since we got him from like 4.30 in the evening to 7.30 and then we put him out. But uh, he's going to be one of my future uh, Phil Shepherd dogs. But what it is, he's still small enough that he can get through that opening on that cattle panel. So, but I don't, I don't think I can deal with him and that sheep too. So, um, all righty, well that's it. Pray for the little lamb and I'll try forcing some more milk down it here in another hour or two. Alrighty. Well, God bless y'all. Bye-bye.